I'm Vinesh Bennett, Australian indoor cricket player, husband, father, dog lover, Southern Cross cricket bat maker. Three words to describe myself. I would say determined, uncommon, and dependable. My first cricket memory was 1983 in New Zealand, Lancaster Park, now known as Jade Stadium, uh, where the earthquakes were. And my dad took me down to watch England play uh, New Zealand. I've played 58 tests for Australia. Uh, won the Alan Wilson medal, which is the International Player of the Year twice. Three times picked in the world, eight uh, after World Cups. Um, so I've been very fortunate to uh, be in those positions and to be selected in those teams. Favourite moment, the 2009 World Cup uh, in Brisbane that was played in front of our home crowd, our families. Uh, New Zealand came across with a pretty white hot side and really pushed us. Uh, and again, we probably should have lost um, and somehow grabbed it from New Zealand. The national title for ACT in 2015 is probably the most recent favourite memory of mine uh, to win that title for the first time ever um, for Canberra. Uh, it had never been won before the Open Men's title and to be part of a team to have won it for the first time, fantastic. Uh, to get that win is most definitely one of my favourite ones as well. I was uh, working uh, in the building industry, putting up frames, prefabricated homes, that sort of thing. And part of uh, the development when you are uh, doing a trade is that you get to see every aspect of it, whether it's the frame at the start to the internal fixing to the staircases. And part of my, um, part of my journey through that was to work for a staircase manufacturer. It really came quite naturally, purely because at the end of the day, um, wood's wood. Um, it really comes down to techniques and how you repair timber when it's been damaged by a cricket ball. I started Southern Cross Cricket in 2001. With my last tax refund, I think it was about 300 something dollars, I decided to buy myself some handles um, to help a few mates who had broken bats and keep me busy at the same time. My uh, mantra when it comes to uh, cricket bats is I always look at the performance, the rebound. Um, I've seen some bits of timber that look absolutely amazing. Um, straight lines, right amount of grain content and hit the ball and it barely makes a 30 metre circle. The softer uh, timber ten tends to last a bit longer if it's knocked in and prepared quite well. Um, but otherwise, performance is the first thing I look at when it comes to uh, selecting a piece of timber. So yeah, the, the differences in the handles, uh, obviously there's oval, there's semi-oval, um, and there's round. But some players like the feel of that oval handle where it cups right into between the, the, the main finger and the thumb. But also uh, with, with coaching it, with young people, it, it makes them play straight without them really knowing. So it creates good habits there early on. There is no right or wrong, it, it really comes down to how it feels. Instead of the profile being all the timber bulked in one area, we're now seeing it evened out over the whole cricket bat. So we're now starting to see uh, the shoulders of the cricket bat quite thick and the toe of the uh, cricket bat quite thick and the middle just to the normal size. The age of the cricket bat and the maturing of the cricket bat is what enhances the performance. I don't want something that's too hard because I know it will perform, but longevity of the cricket bat is definitely not, it won't, it won't sustain it, it'll break. Um, so I'm looking for something in between that can mature over a period of time and that's when you'll get your two to three years out of a cricket bat. So there is a noise uh, that I am listening for but it's, uh, it's more of a pop as opposed to a ping if that makes sense. It's, it's very hard to describe. The profile of the cricket bat is generally determined by the type of player. If they're a front foot player they will then look for a lower middle. If they're a player that likes to play through in a 60 around the ground they'll generally have something that will be a bit higher and pick up. Most of the time it is the pickup that the player is looking for, but we generally start with the weight and work our way to a position where the player feels comfortable holding the cricket bat. Um, so I've been coaching uh, for the last six months, uh, two age groups, um, one at the older end and one at the younger end, but the, the younger end is where I see myself in the future. I enjoy that. Uh, purely because you get to see these young people develop their own skills, but not only as uh, players, but um, model citizens. 
my philosophy when it comes to the cricket bat is to make it as strong and as well as I can, um, but then know that it's going to have longevity in the players' hands and they're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it.